Hey, I'm Parker Wright with the Autodesk Simulation Team, and in this episode of Autodesk Simulation TV, we'll talk about automotive challenges solved with Autodesk Simulation. So a quick agenda first. I'll start with a simulation overview. Then we'll talk about some business challenges that simulation helps you solve. And then I'll show quite a few application examples just to give you a feel for the breadth and the depth of the solutions and the types of problems that we can help you solve. So first, Autodesk Simulation. Um, we have an entire suite or portfolio of tools to help you solve all manner of technical challenges, whether they're mechanical, structural, finite element analysis, or CFD for flow and thermal analysis, or plastic injection molding analyses. And we've taken all of these solutions and uplifted them into the cloud. So now our clients and customers are solving an unlimited number of design scenarios simultaneously by harnessing this flexible, scalable, infinite computing architecture of the cloud. So very exciting technology there. Now, how about some of the business challenges that simulation helps our automotive customers address? Well, prototyping and testing costs can be extremely expensive, and especially flowing down requirements through the, through the supply chain. So um, you, you can really cut down on your prototyping and testing costs using simulation to digitally or virtually prototype. Outsourcing costs and time can also be expensive if you need to have simulations done and have to outsource them to third-party consultants. Those prices can be exorbitant, the lead times can be extensive, and also uh, frequently uh, you may want to evaluate other design uh, configurations or scenarios and you only have the, the one answer. So bringing the simulation solutions in-house allows you to explore many more design concepts and do it uh, much more rapidly, especially uh, due to the ease of use and the speed with which you can solve simulation problems today. Uh, the third one here, software implementation, just alluded to that, but essentially we have made um, the solutions uh, We've built the solutions in such a way that we're breaking down the barriers to, to adoption, including cost and including ease of use. So uh, it's very easy to, uh, to rapidly get up to speed, that speed to value and speed to implementation with our, uh, with our solutions, uh, with some self-paced uh, training materials and implementation materials that we have. And then the last one here is the competitive differentiation, and being able to um, use simulation to help differenti differentiate your products from your competitors. So now we'll jump into some of the actual technical applications and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, cruise through these pretty quickly. The first one here is aerodynamics, so being able to run external airflow analyses around your vehicles to analyze lift, drag, center of pressure, particle traces, and flow separation. Uh, the second one, electronics cooling, this is a huge uh, industry for simulation, allowing you to assess uh, performance. These types of assemblies and components are very expensive to build and test, so being able to digitally and virtually prototype them and evaluate multiple designs for your electronics is ex extremely beneficial to our customers. The third one here, many different types of structural simulations that can be run on, on automobiles and automotive components. Of course, there's an uh, ever-increasing need to, to move towards uh, light weighting. Uh, strength and crash safety targets are going up, so we can address those as well by running these static stress mechanical event simulations, buckling and fatigue analyses on, on all manner of uh, automotive components. A uh, powertrain cooling is a, another big application, so looking at steady state and transient heat loads, looking at friction, and understanding how to dissipate uh, the heat that is generated within the powertrain effectively. And we also have uh, several racing teams who are using uh, uh, energy recovery systems now. So storing braking energy, this is also used for hybrid vehicles, of course, so that you can later use that energy during acceleration. System efficiencies are increased by proper cooling. So being able to increase gas mileage, increase reliability, reduce liability um, or, or warranty, uh, potential warranty costs <clears throat> is really important to our customers. And with braking systems, uh, airflow and heat dissipation really helps maximize braking performance. So running these flow simulations through and around the brakes, understanding you know, as the wheels are turning at, at different speeds, how does that affect the, the cooling or the airflow through the brakes and how can we maximize their performance? Flow bench testing, so whether you're looking at manifolds, um, throttles, intakes, other flow control devices, we can simulate these virtually on your desktop to look at flow restrictions, turbulence, distribution, Mixing and stratification do a lot of work in this area as well because it's very easy to, um, to visually understand how to properly balance flow through these flow control devices and what the effects of different valve positions are. And of course, it's extremely expensive uh, to um, rapidly prototype or in any way build these types of cast assemblies. It's a great opportunity for simulation there. Heat exchangers is another nice opportunity. Being able to simulate flow distribution and heat transfer uh, performance for all manner of devices, radiators, oil coolers, and you know, maximizing the efficiency of these assemblies and devices without having to go through expensive testing. 
Lighting applications also uh, are, are coming up more and more now as well. With the industry move to LEDs, of course, LEDs are more efficient, but they actually dissipate quite a bit more heat than bulbs uh, per unit area, and you have to conduct that heat out uh, through a very small area through a printed circuit board and into a heat sink. So this is a phenomenal application for heat transfer um, simulations in order to understand placement of LEDs and efficiency, and it's very important to maximize uh, the efficiency of heat transfer from LEDs because as you, cr as you creep up um, in, in a temperature range, you have degradation of light and you also have degradation of life of the LEDs. And that can be extremely expensive. Recalls for these have been seen and are, um, are, are definitely very, very costly for companies, both fi um, fiscally or financially and to their reputation. Under hood cooling, um, another great application just because of the complexity of these, these assemblies and parts and being able to distribute that airflow evenly across radiators, hydraulic oil coolers, charge air coolers, optimize cooling and reduce testing costs. Testing of, um, of this equipment is, is very, very expensive. Um, so, sometimes it requires an outside test lab, shipping costs, then you have the instrumentation the, and the actual testing costs and the amount of data that you're able to extract from a uh, physical test is, is very limited, whereas with simulation, you have an unlimited amount of data that, that you can extract to optimize the performance. We have an entire simulation TV episode on factory airflow management, but what it boils down to is there's a seven-figure uh, cost savings opportunity, both for factory energy consumption and for downtime reduction by leveraging simulation um, to minimize your energy consumption and, uh, and minimize the amount of stratification or thermal differences, temperature differences that you see in the plant to maximize your, your productivity and minimize your downtime. And the last one here that I'll show, pumps, fans, and turbochargers. So again, very expensive equipment to build and test. You can um, virtually or digitally prototype these, simulating cooling fans, oil and water pumps, turbines, and, and compressors to understand best efficiency points and operating range efficiencies. So again, I'm Parker Wright with the Autodesk Simulation Team. I appreciate your time uh, here in this episode. Hope this was informative for you, and I encourage you, if you have any questions, reach out to your Autodesk or value-added reseller representative today. Thank you.